Hello everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> this is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy software updates uh, for April 2019. Deploy Microsoft software updates for April 2019. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to log into SCCM console. We're going to force software update sync. Let's go and do that. You need to go to software library. You go to software updates, click on all software updates, and then right click. Go to software updates, sync, sync, synchronize software updates, and then click yes. After that, you want to go into the monitoring <coughs> and <coughs> click on software updates. It should have the latest date that you forced the sync. Um, so it looks like it hasn't synced yet. I'm gonna. My time is 8:36, May 4th, 2019. So as you can see here, it is being syncing. So I want to make sure this icons turn green. It's going to take a while. You can look at the log files for the uh, synchronizations. Let's look at the log files. Got SCCM install in here. <coughs> Go to logs. The file you want to look at is w, w, uh, wsync log. Double click on it. As you can see here, it's a starting WSS synchronizations. While it's syncing, I'm going to pause the video and we'll return when, when it's finished. All right, look like it has been sync and it's, um, it's doing the cleanup right now. Let's go back to the console. I'm going to refresh this. Click on it and then refresh. So looks like it has not been completed. <clears throat> All right, look like it is completed now. So the synchronization has been completed. Um, the date is 5-4-2019, a.m. You want to make sure this is green. Otherwise, you don't, you, you're not going to receive the new updates. <clears throat> so the second things we're going to do is we're going to create software update groups. You go back to software library. And then go to all software updates. You want to do a search for the last month release. So what you need to do is go into, let me see where it says here. Um, oops. Gonna create software update groups. No, I need to do a search first. I'm trying to find the button for search. All right, so I'm gonna click on save search and then manage search for current node. I wanna click on updates release in the last month click ok so it should give me all the update for the last month which is april as you can see there's a lot of them i'm going to view by require the require mean 
all the patches that require in my environment. So looks like I have a few patches here. <clears throat> I'm not going to I'm going to I'm not going to select all the updates here. I'm just going to select the one that requires. So I'm going to click on this and then click on the shift key and then click the last one. You want to highlight everything um, that is required. Once you highlight it, click on um, right click on your mouse and go to create software update groups. I'm going to call this April patches 2019. I'm going to click create. Now let's go to software update groups. As you can see, April patches 2019 has been created. I downloaded before, but if you haven't downloaded yet, it should say down downloaded is no. So for this time, I'm going to re-download it. Just going to right click and then go to download. I'm going to create a new package. This is called April patches 2019. To avoid confusion, confusion, I want to make sure the name and the software update group is the same. The package name and software update group match. Package source, I'm going to put it in my network share. We'll put in the software updates. As CCM source <clears throat> updates, I'm going to do a new folder called April 2019. I'm going to copy this. Oh, sorry. Um, so the <clears throat> I forgot to <clears throat> sorry my throat is really bad here. <laughs> so I forgot to let you know that um, that was the step three: create software update package. Well, let me uh, start over. So I created software update groups here, and Step three, I'm going to create software update package. I'm going to go to software update groups and then right click on the group that I just created. And then go to download. This is step three. It's called April patches 2019. I'm going to paste the link here at the um, the UNC. Click next. I'm going to choose the DP. Click OK. Click next. And click next. Download software from the internet. Click next. I only need English language. Click next and then click next as you can see it start downloading <clears throat> it's probably going to take a few minutes um, I'm just going to pause the video and welcome back. All right, look like the download has been completed. As you can see, you want to make sure it's all green. Click close. Here's the content. Let's go to the package. April 2019. And it is on the distribution point. And step four, you're going to deploy software updates. 
I'm going to back to survey update groups. Go to April patches. Right click and then go to deploy. Let's call this April patches 2019 to all system to all computers in my environment. I'm going to click the collection. All desktop and servers clients. Click next. It's required. Make sure it's required. If you want to force the installation, click next. As soon as possible. It's client local time. As soon as possible. I'm going to change this to as soon as possible. So it's, it's going to start deploying. I'm going to click next. I'm going to display server at the center only when it's re only when it's required restart. It doesn't matter what you put here, but if you choose the first options, the the user will see your notifications and it can be annoying. So I recommend choose the second option. Deadline behaviors. I don't have any main window, so I'm not going to click on any of these. If I want to suppress a reboot on servers, I can suppress, click by click on it. And if I don't check these boxes, it's going to force a reboot when it's required reboot. Click next. That's fine. Click next. You want to make sure you click download software update from distribution point and install. Deploy option, download and install server date from the preservation join, default boundary group. That's fine. If software updates are not available on this future point, it's going to try to pull a update from Microsoft or from a local D, um, a DP that it's going to find in nearby. So I recommend choose this one. But if you don't want your clients to pull from Microsoft, internet or the internet, you might want to check this box. Don't check this box. <clears throat> All client me on the internet, you can check this box if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click next. <clears throat> next. It should create a deployment. It's finished. Go back to server date group. Click on April patches. Under the deployment, there should be a deployment going on. As you can see here, right click, go to properties. You can view the deployment. You can change the time, user experience, etc. That's it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.